Welcome, beautiful spirit. Let's see what's up for you today for your daily guidance. Trust in the cycles. Everything has its right time. Honor the cycles of your body and tune into the moon's magic. You know, trust that everything works out just as it should, right at the time that it's supposed to, and just um, soothe yourself. The moon is about letting things go, too, so... And the butterfly is about transformation. Um, the unicorn's horn is like divine guidance as well. So just let you, you keep transforming yourself and addressing any insecurities. The moon's also about insecurities. Let go of anything unhealthy for you. Just focus on your health. You know, realize everything happens in due time. And just, there's also a three, three butterflies. So threes are a catalyst. There's actually four, five is change. So things are changing. There's going to be a catalyst for this change happening. Um, so just so just trust. <laughs> trust that you're going to be receiving. Be open to receiving goodness. Believe you're worthy of abundance. A gift is coming to you now or soon. I said now, but wow. So, you know, just keep trusting. I know it can be hard sometimes um, to keep up the faith, but... Believe that you're worthy of it. You know, um, actually, Aaron Dowdy has a really great meditation that you listen to for like, you know, he, I think he says 28 days or something like that. I don't know why 28. <laughs> listen to it for a month or so or just listen to it every day. And it's a guided meditation to attract love. And it just makes you feel really darn good. And it helps you get ready to receive. It helps you feel worthy of love, you know? And that's the vibration you want to be in to cause these cycles to come around and cause these this transformation and changes to happen. All right, I feel like a ma the masculines need one from here too. <clears throat> Action, of course. <laughs> now is the perfect time to act. Take inspired action towards your dreams. Move forward with confidence. So these are for the masculines who haven't acted yet. <laughs> It's time, masculines. It is time. If you didn't think it was time yet and you were waiting for the right time, this is go time. See, his horn is like lit up and, and this is lit up. So it's like divinely guided. Like they're telling you, feminines, like trust that this is going to happen. Trust that these good things are coming to you. All kinds of things. It doesn't have to be just about your masculine, but whatever it is that you um, are wanting, whether it be more money or whatever it is, or this this idea of something like um, you stepping into your power and doing this divinely guided career or something different, you know, um, take action on that, trusting that all will work out at the right time. And then um, also the masculines are getting that horn lit up. They're, they're divinely guided right now to take action. <clears throat> Anger. <laughs> So feminines, if you're feeling angry and that's why you're having a hard time trusting in these cycles and you're just like, the anger is pushing, you're receiving away. You got to be in a receptive energy to receive. You can't stay in this angry state and, and be resentful of him not coming yet. Um, safely express that anger. Use your anger as a positive force. Honor all of your emotions as sacred. So this reminds me of the exercise, thank you God for my misery. And I'm mentioning it because... One of my feminines said, you use that all the time. You always talk about that exercise. But I finally got off my butt and actually did the exercise on what I was upset about. And she said it was so transformative. I can't even tell you. Now I tell everybody to do it. So if you have not done that yet, if you have not listened to me yet, and I've said it so many times, please take out a piece of paper at your soonest convenience. <laughs> And right at the top of the page, something you're upset about. Thank you, God, that my masculine has not come forward yet, if that's what you're angry about. Or, you know, thank you, God, that this situation in our economy is really screwed up or whatever you want to put. And then you list all the advantages and benefits as to why that's a really good thing for you right now. I know it sounds crazy, but even if it's um, kind of sarcastic or funny or whatever you can list, try to come up with 10 to 15 things. Then you turn the page and you start again with something else you're upset about and write that statement. Thank you, God, that 
you know, I always seem to be left alone or I always seem to be abandoned. And then you list 10 to 15 advantages or benefits as to why being abandoned can be beneficial to you or can be helpful to you or why basically the you get to the bottom of it by doing this, by um, you get to the bottom of it, meaning of what the higher self is trying to get you to see, like what you, why the higher self put you through it in the first place. Because it's all divinely guided. And when we act like a victim, like it shouldn't have happened the way that it did or it shouldn't be happening the way that it did, we totally disempower ourselves. And we also don't see that it is so grandly inspired and orchestrated, you wouldn't believe. When you do this exercise, like first time I did it, I did it for like 45 minutes and blew my mind. I did one after the other after the other, all that I could think of. And I was laughing my butt off at, by the end of it. Like, oh my gosh, I had no idea that I was so incredibly supported in all these things that I thought were really bad things. That's why, that's why we call it that. So awareness. Live in the moment. Be conscious of your thoughts and look for signs and guidance, both of you. All right, you guys have a beautiful day and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Hey, if you like my videos, please share, subscribe, and set your bell notifications on so you'll know the moment they come out. Also, don't forget that you can go to my website and order a personal reading at amysatori.com forward slash services. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day.